As you can see here, the MRI scan is being generated real time. It was a first, the Scientific Computing and Imaging Institute opening its doors to the public, showcasing research affecting the lives of just about everyone. Data is expanding massively and we need to discover and improve ways to articulate it. Those could be used to study any number of diseases, so the work we do is very broadly applicable. The white matter definitely has less contrast and less intensity. The first SkiX open house was a huge success. This is our first time to open our doors to the university and to the general public, government, industry. It's exceeding our expectations. This is really similar to, say, using a TV set, right? At the end, you don't need to know how the inside works. If you build the right interface and it's simple to use, like we're doing for some of these devices, even a small device like this, uh, one can look at a large 3D data set that people are running on like a 10,000 processor machine. This is um, about five months old baby that is shown. On so this day, the tangible benefits to humankind were on display. Ski has quickly become a nationally and internationally renowned leader in visualization, scientific computing, and image analysis. I was very happy to, to hear from my folks back in India from Siemens. They know like about the ski, like when I told them I work at ski, they're like, oh, you work at ski. College of Engineering benefactor and University of Utah alumnus Dr. John Warnock gave the inspirational keynote speech on his and the roles of other Utah graduates on the early days of computer science. When I started Adobe uh, with my partner Chuck Geschke, we had no concept that the technology we built would cover everybody on the planet. The visualization techniques have come light years from where they started and it's really gratifying to see that it helps save lives. Well, I think it's very exciting to see so many presentations of technology. Technology Venture Development Director Jack Britton, a visionary in creating startup companies from university research, is excited for the next SkiX. The technologies developed at the University of Utah have the potential and very frequently are becoming companies in Utah that will employ these students when they come out. And that is what the cardiologist uses to identify which regions to ablate and burn.